these glaciers have provided some drought proofing for the province. So without them, uh, those hot dry years will see much lower stream flows. Thanks to climate change, glacial melt is accelerating. And experts predict that by the end of this century, very little of Alberta's glaciers will remain. In fact, one study suggests the Bow Glacier, which feeds the Bow River, could be almost non-existent. And if these predictions do come true, well, that could have significant consequences for rivers like the Bow, as well as for the people who depend on them, especially during hot, dry summers like what we saw in 2023. If you're used to managing water with this extra glacier melt at the end of the year. Glacial runoff can make up a significant portion of river flow. For example, in an average year on the bow, it makes up about 3% of total overall flow. But in drought years, that number can surge to 20%. And now, this backup supply for the bow and other Alberta rivers is set to run out. Experts say that will make it more likely we'll need to limit water use in homes, farms, and power plants in the future. We're finally seeing the, the end of the last vestiges of the Ice Age, and it's really the Ice Age that modern civilization has developed in. The City of Calgary shares this concern. They've identified glacier loss as one of many threats to water security and say they're considering a range of solutions, from increasing reservoir capacity to permanent outdoor water restrictions, with water demand and overall drought risk set to rise. It's a holistic approach, this preparedness and getting our customers, our city prepared for water shortages that we know we are going to have. Of course, such a response will require significant public buy-in and investment, but experts like Pomeroy worry if trends continue, we won't really have a choice to make. Take action before you're in a disaster uh, to make sure that you don't over-allocate water that simply isn't there to allocate.